Hey YouTube, Mike here. How are we all doing today? Hope we all had a safe and productive week. Alright, today we're going to go quickly over this pressure pot or paint pot converted to a pressure pot. <clears throat> like I showed you on my past video, I purchased it and I purchased it just to do um, stuff for myself. <clears throat> you know, on a video I showed that the one that my daughter and I did the tabletop we did some um, uh, coasters and <clears throat> my other daughters they want some and we want some for the house and I wanted to do my pen blanks for myself so I'm not doing this for production or to sell I'm just doing it for um, my uh, own hobby here so I purchased this pressure pot and it's not the exact one I wanted it's an Aero Pro good for 60 PSI <clears throat> I wanted the one that had the two larger plates or pieces of metal that came up it had a notch and the thumb screw had a big fender washer and that dropped into the notch to, to prevent it from flopping out but this is the same one it's a convex bottom we'll go through that in a minute a uh, little different color than the actual uh, Harbor Freight one but it'll do for now for me for what I'm doing so there is a little bit of work one of them is to light your cigar there is a little bit of work not much that you need to do I did some of it already um, just not to make this video so long uh, but point out a couple of very important safety things that you need to do that I would rather stress on than showing you how to make stuff up. You see it once, you'll know it's for every single joint. Okay, you're going to need some adjustable wrenches, pair of pliers, you're going to need some Teflon tape, and you're going to need some compound. I like using this liquid compound, of course a rag. Um, you get the pressure pot, you get the handle, the top it comes with this t-fitting already made up that has the relief valve and that I'm going to stress on in a minute it's got this quarter inch elbow with a, a swivel or union half that the supplied regulator comes with you're going to add a valve either a double female or in my case I got these male to female quarter inch valves and that you know goes on here for the turning the air on and off and then your whatever male or female to hose connection now there's an arrow on it you're gonna see inlet outlet and you're gonna cap that side off and this is what's gonna go onto the union half but we're gonna stress something first the relief valve the relief valve is a pressure relief valve do not change it don't use this top here which is 3.8 and adapt some <clears throat> either pressure or temperature and pressure relief valve you can get from a local supply house plumbing supply or Amazon these are designed when they're built to have these spring pressure relief valves you have relief valves that work with pressure pressure and temperature and they work off a of BTU so a plumbing which you know that's my business it's worked they those relief valves are rated for the BTU of the unit the British thermal unit how it heats there is no heat in here it's just pressure and if you notice on the compressor here it's the same relief valve don't touch it it's designed for this thing leave it alone this is designed for 60 psi and if it gets to around 65 psi the relief valve will spring open and allow pressure to be relieved do not use the relief valve to relieve pressure on the tank. That is what this valve is for. Don't use the valve on the regulator to relieve pressure. It's not good to let <clears throat> air get back through the regulator because you got moisture in it. Use a valve like this on the other side. So I use the 3 8 by quarter bushing with <clears throat> another one of those valves and just this kind of it's like a hose to 3-8 fitting and that's where the air will get directed out of and you could just shut it off and then I'm going to write or p-touch on this and laminate over it 
relieve pressure before opening top. Okay, another thing that I did with this, because it's going to leave dimples, and see there's a dimple in it already from when it was delivered. So I made those X's. And I also made an arrow here and a corresponding arrow here. So I know how the top is going to go on and not interfere with anything. So I already laid this out. So I'm just going to lay out arrow to arrow and X to X. Now, yes, the X is going to wear off. It's your piece of equipment. It's your shop. It's a magic marker. You can put paint. I may end up putting some paint, but it's going to wear off. Just keep, make the X back again. That's it. it takes two, not even two seconds to put an X back again. All right. So, we did, again, I cannot stress, leave the relief valve alone and do not use it to relieve pressure. All right. So, we have arrow of direction. We're going to adjust the regulator. So once you adjust it to your 50 PSI, it's going to be, you're going to just set it and forget it. But then we have to cap off an end. So you're going to take some of your Teflon tape. You're going to make it so it's hanging from the bottom. You see how it's hanging from the bottom? I always put the fitting in my right hand, the Teflon tape in my left hand. Put it on. And then get the first turn, and then you're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. Put your thumb on it. Can you see it? And pull and push. It will actually embed, and then just run your hand around it. Make sure you don't really have any Teflon tape inside, but this is the cap. It really doesn't matter. And then we're going to... Take some of our compound. Yes, I like using my fingers. Do it. Land your rag. Again, check, make sure your arrow is going in that direction. And man, it is black as black could be. And I can hardly see it. But I think I got it going in the right direction. Okay, use everything brass. Don't use anything galvanized. This had an old gauge in it. It's going to end up, the moisture inside the air is going to get to it, even though galvanized can be used for liquid. It's going to rust. Just leave it with the brass. All right, tighten that up. I'm going to show you these regs. I got these regs off Amazon. Not that package over there. I got a package already and gave it to my, my son and worker, and they are really good. So I bought a packet for here. And also, I don't need a hundred rags. And I think they were like $16. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Now, that is where the union half is going to go. All right. Let me show you the inside of it. What you have to do inside. Okay. Okay. My cigar almost went out. Inside the unit, there's a pickup tube. Now, all of this stuff, this comes from, I think, Malaysia, China, Japan, Australia, wherever. They don't use tape and compound, they use thread lock. And it's not like ours, blue and red. It's a difference, it's very clear. And I was able to get the fitting out from here with just a pair of pliers. But this one was a booger. It just wouldn't come out. I heated it. I heated it even more. It just wouldn't come out. So you just need to see the, the tube is meant to pick up the paint from almost the bottom. The bottom is convex. We're going to get through that in a second. So I ended up just taking a sawzall, cutting it, reaming it, cleaning it. Bob's your uncle. You're done. Throw it in the garbage. So I don't need to show you that anymore. Okay. Second thing that I did, like I said, I put a separate valve to release the pressure in the tank. So that's where I'm going to P-touch, release pressure before opening. But the other major thing, inside the pot, when you have your molds in there, or mold, and this is where the air is going in, this side right here, <clears throat> I put an elbow on it. Now some pots have 
an actual, almost looks like a cap, and it's got holes on either side. If you leave this on without this elbow that I put there, so it's a, it's a uh, one eighth inch L, air is gonna go, now yes, it's gonna spray, but it's gonna go down and it's gonna hit your mold and it's gonna leave waves in the mold. And when you take it, you'll be, take, open it up and you look at it, you'll be like, what the hell happened? Well, that's what happened. So I just put an elbow, a little tape, and I just hand tightened it because it's not gonna hold pressure. It's just gonna be there uh, for giggles. All right, so, pot, I got all my arrows in the direction that I want to go. I'm going to put a little bit of compound on this union half here. Handle, comes with a handle. Handle is made up, it's got a quarter inch nut, you lock it down. Instruction sheet, <clears throat> it came with this wrench and a hose to clean, I mean a brush, a nylon brush to clean the... We're not going to use that. That we're actually maybe repurpose for something else. Hand tighten it. Gauge so you can see it. Because remember, this is where you're going to be putting your air in. And then... And yes, for those that didn't see it, this is a Weira Joker self-adjusting um, adjustable wrench. And you, they have them that big to this big. I have all the sets. Go back. You'll see I did a review on it. Okay. The only other thing, which I'm not going to do now, is because the bottom is curved downward, <clears throat> where other pots are flat, there's guys that I've seen on YouTube that have made a template and cut a piece of wood or a piece of uh, formica or a quarter inch piece of Luan and put it in. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fill the bottom with rice. Because remember the old trick? You drop something electric or you get it wet, you put it in rice, it absorbs the moisture. Well, you've got moisture inside of this. And the rice will help withdraw the moisture and it won't get into your mold. So... Alright, let's see what we got here. I got my X's lined up. Now, when you put this on, don't super tighten one. Just give it a snug and go all four corners. Now, tighten it down. Evenly. Alright, let's see what we got. Shut this off. Remove your air. I got 25 pounds on it right now. This compressor, yeah, this compressor, the battery is, is dead on it. So it gave me 25 pounds. Now what you want to do is go around and soap check it. Just take some soap. Now you can, if you guys happen to work and see my air video, you see, you know, you could just go buy a thing of soap from Home Depot, bubble it, go around. We're going to leave this on. Overnight, take a little magic marker and just mark on the black face where you left it at. I'm going to redo this and I'm actually going to pressurize it with the big compressor, but it's early in the morning and I didn't want this thing running. Now, you're, you're in for your four hours and now I'm going to come over to here and I'm going to relieve my pressure. I'm not relieving my pressure from here. So now the pressure is off, zero, and now I can, you're still getting air out of this thing. There it is, now it's done, gone. Now I'm gonna take my 
clamps off. And that's why. I wasn't going to put the handle on, but I'm not going to raise it from here. Even though you got the lock, this is so much nicer. You're like a gentleman. You take this thing off. Now here, let me show you. I got these molds, which I showed you last time. I got the single mold and a four mold. One is made out of that plastic. The other one is silicone. All right, the four will fit in there perfectly. And then the single also perfectly. But as you can see, it's just like to the bottom when I show it to you here. <laughs> That's what you don't want, but it fits in there nice. See, now this actually will sit flat. This actually sits pretty flat too, but you want, the rice is going to be good. And remember, for us that are doing pen blanks and maybe a coaster or a bottle stopper or something small, you don't need this much. Two and a half gallons. You don't need this much room in there. to. Um, so you can put as much rice in as you want to. The only thing is that I would definitely clean this pot out. Now, inside of this pot... You see, that's that's what's in the pot. You want to clean this pot out really, really good. And when you're done, put a bit of denatured alcohol in there to clean out, get any residue, any shipping goop, any rust protector, which is stain. You know, it's aluminum. I think this is aluminum. Um, but you want to clean it out. You don't want anything, any impurities that's in here to get into the mold. And you want to do this to that. But make sure. You know, nothing harsh on the gasket. Nothing harsh on the gasket. Just get it nice and clean. As a matter of fact, pick up. Da -da 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 -da. These things are great. There's a hundred towels. I, I, I don't know. There's no name on it. It's just 100 premium shop towels. Multi-purpose cleaning. Washing, and you can wash them, made in Pakistan. They're 12 by 14 inches, blue. There's a hundred of them, packed really nice. I just got these, and that's the first one I just took out of the package. The, the, uh, Amazon, um, I, I forget what I packed. They, they were no more than 20 bucks for this thing. And they're, like I said, they're very nice. They're very, I mean, look at these, and, now you, and you can wash them. But I won't, not especially, I ain't putting this in the washing machine with the compound on it, so. Um, and they're nice. They don't give you that, like, some of those towels, they got, like, almost an oil on them. Doesn't give you no oily feeling at, at whatsoever. So, okay. Don't mess with the relief valve. Don't use it to relieve pressure. It's not expensive. These things you can pick up for, like, two bucks. Put a separate valve on to relieve the pressure. Don't relieve it through here. Once you set the regulator... Right now I got it set at about 30 pounds. Well, actually, I think it's around 35 pounds because that stopped at five. And I think I had about 60 or so pounds. You know, you're not using the whole thing in there. The battery was dead and I didn't want to start up the big ass compressor. I would recommend using the handle. It's much easier to lift the top off and get to your thing. Clean the inside of it out. And if you end up buying one of these, mark where you're gonna be putting the um, pieces. And they don't have to be that exact, just, you'll see the dimple in it, you can catch the dimple again. And then, when you tighten it down, tighten it evenly. Now, I would not leave this tight. Do not leave this storage, you know, until you use it tight. Because you're going to leave pressure on the gasket, and that's not good. Especially something, like, when we make two unions together, or a flange, or companion flange, it's a gasket. We tighten up anywhere four to 16 bolts, but that stays. If we don't, if you open it, you'll see, if you're familiar with it, when you open it, that flo that gasket is, well, it's, you know, it's got temperature difference, but you don't want to leave pressure on it. So just leave it like that and then pick it up from here and put it wherever you're going to store it. And I got to say, this thing weighs probably close to five pounds. Said and done. All right. Um... Yeah, oh, and you can buy uh, fittings that already have pre, like, uh, uh, it's almost like thread lock, and as you make it up, the heat um, forms it. Use the Teflon tape and the compound. It works the best. All right, YouTube. Um, if you like a Mike's Woodshop sticker, my uh, email will be below. Uh, all of the um, 
everything will be in the description below I'm getting more and more familiar with linking doing linking you know link something um, so I, I, I pretty soon you'll be able to just to click something and, and get to that wherever you want to go um, for those of you that follow me on the Renai guy channel stay tuned there is something really big coming up from that channel alrighty I'd like to thank everybody for all the subscribes the likes the comments the questions again if you want to ask a question to my email will be below and that's about it I hope you enjoy the video you'll be safe out there and I'll see you on the next video bye bye now